me and Matt, we've got to get back to the airport, Chicago O'Hare. So we're going to try to catch some fish within this uh, three hour period that we've got. We've already caught fish this morning. Um, it's been fun. It's been great. We caught them on frogs. We caught them. It was a lot of shallow fishing. We've already caught fish this morning. It's been fun. It's been great. A high part of the day, but I got something in mind. And I think this is my first time actually fishing on this channel with, uh, with AP Bassing. Yeah, we were talking about that. We fish so much together, but we've never fished like per like on our personal stuff yeah, together. Yeah, just just like just on a whim. But the last time we fished a little Guggen challenge too, we raked. We killed them. We killed it. Uh, I'm gonna slap the chassis on, show you guys what we're doing here. Let's learn, let's fish, let's have fun. Wisconsin, curd time. Already had some squeaky cheese. Here's the dealio. Got a slim shake, y'all. Super light. This is like a 16th ounce, 12 pound fluoro with a little, tw uh, it's probably 10, 15 pound braid. I don't know, this is parrot rod. I'm gonna take that right there and I'm gonna dabble it around these docks. Oh, grasshopper in the water. No, it's a cicada. I need another dangler. Oh, fish broken. Oh, 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 your line's still out. I know. It? Yeah. Oh, it's moving. No way. Pull it, pull it down. Oh, I got him. Got him, boys. No way. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> Landed. <laughs> Landed. That was insane. That's a full team effort right there. Hey. Oh, <laughs> don't see that every day. We had ourselves a little snapperoo there. Had a little fish running with his wacky rig and <laughs> up here using that little northern banky line. Braid too, that's, that's what's pound. even crazier. Eight, eight pound, pound braid? Oh, eight pound braid can snap okay. easy. We got the fish, we let it go. All is good, that was that was fun times. You don't see those every day. Go ahead and hit the smash, smash button. Is that right? No, smash the like button. It took all three of us, AP Bassin. I was using the trolling motor there. Rackley grabbed the line and Matt just broke off, so. <laughs> that's, that's basically it. Oh. There he goes. Oh! Oh, dangled him. I, I honestly thought that was gonna be a bluegill, but I just went ahead and sent it. This things are good at getting bites. And Matt's hooked up, same category. This time he's maintained his line on his reel. I forgot how to talk to people. It's deep, he's got it. Broke oh, me off, gosh. good one, yeah. Oh. Had it, it was, it was heavy. Yeah, it was heavy. That's like heavier line too, I think. That's, it was a good hit. It good was a deep good dock line. too. I think it was a good bite. I think in this moment, what a person does is they pick up a frog. That was disappointing. I'm rigging it straight to braid. Oh. Good bite. Good bite. Good bite. It, I mean, it was a good fish, it wasn't a good bite. Taking the leader off, cause that was like, 10 or 12 pound, I don't know. This is 20 pound braid. Woo, we are running low on slim shakes. All right, I'm ready to get hammered by something tasty now. Look at this little wood project here. Got a coffee table with a fireplace on top of it. Going in. Oh, broke me off. Oh my God. That was another big one. Yeah, I mean, we all knew it was gonna be in there. <laughs> Well, it done got hot and I'm about sunburned. There was another video you guys haven't seen. I'm, I'll link the MTV channel where you can go subscribe. Me and Perrick versus the whole crew out here. It was a good video. But we done beat it up. It is just high sun, tough times. We don't have that much time left, so we're gonna go try a lake on the way home to the airport. See if we can pull any out of that. I was digging my technique. It was working. I broke off two Mondos. Disappointing. I'm currently driving Perrick's boat. My first boat ever was an Alumacraft, by the way. It was like this. It was called a Bandit. It was a 17 footer, actually. I think this is a, it's about a 17 or 18, something like that. Brings me back to old times. In a quarter mile, the destination is on your right. Last year I came here three times and didn't catch a single fish. My friend went here last week and said he caught like 20 in two hours. And they were all like, half of them were decent over two pounds. So it's like, wow, there's a party at this ramp. <laughs> <laughs> Howdy. How you doing? That's a postcard fishing moment right there. I guess Perrick's ready over there, huh? I guess you made me get him.
All right, you guys ready for this? I'm ready, dude. Let's let's head to the frog zone. That's what it's all about. Just commandeered Peric's rod. So we're gonna be going with some frog action here. And this is this lake has more pads, which means more fun for frog time, hopefully. Got the old AP AP bassin stick here. This is this is a hammer. 7-6 heavy. This is, this is what you do when you want to go in hard. I'm gonna go ahead and just trim these tails up a just a touch. Give them a little bit more bob in their weave. Shallow Wisconsin fishing right here. We are just looking for an aggressive top water black bass strike here. Look at this hole. I just saw a bluegill in that hole as well. Just gonna give it the old side to side twitcheroo. Sucked it under. Yeah, there we go. Nice. It's right on that little edge. God, that was one of those you couldn't even hear. You're just gone. Oh, that feels good. Give me a little Wisconsin bass before I head back to Tejas. There we go. At a different lake. Good call. Pear cooked me up with the old frog. Beautiful. See ya, buddy. Oh, I got one. oh, you got one too? Same spot? Oh, here we go, boys. Hammer hole. Oh. That was my next cast. We well, just we made it out here. We've Whoop. got two baths. Look at that. That was Little. GoPro's dying on me. Oh, got him. Got him. Just a just a quiet sucker. Look at that, Matt. There M you go. MK Ultra hooking up. Is he on the pause, Matt? Mid dangle, huh? Yeah, this looks good in here. YouTube dudes, yeah. It's doing better. <laughs> still, uh, still fishing with it though. That's a fishing freak there. Yeah, that's that's me. Nice. How's it going? Thanks for watching. Well. Yeah, yeah appreciate you. you. I didn't mess any of that up there. All right, sweet. Thank you. Good luck. One of the coolest things in the world is to watch a bass hit hit a frog like while it's on a lily pad, trying to knock it off. Monstrous tree coming up here, boys. Oh, wow, that was under this tree. Did you feel the thunder? You got one? We're about to catch a couple. Oh, that's a juice. I just juice pied it. I got him, get him, Matt. Oh, oh. Some good pops in here. See, he tried to pop it off the pad, he didn't quite. Couldn't quite get it. Couldn't quite slurp it. I'm telling you. Got him. Oh cool a bite, dude. Yeah, was that sick? Deep. Oh my. <laughs> he was rolling on top of the pad. It looked like that fish that like, came out of the water and like, like. I know. The frog. Gosh, I wish that you could actually capture that on GoPro. Like what really went down on the micro level there. He was on top of the pad kicking. Had to slurp him for a second. Let him slurp it for a second. Oh, see ya, buddy. God. Okay, I can I can leave Wisconsin on that one, or whatever state we're in. It could it could get. It could oh go. man. This area could be good. That we're, was. We're crunching for time, but. Oh man. That's dangerous. Oh. Took it, but it just came up and kissed the legs. Oh, did you see that bullfrog hopping up there? <laughs> wow, I just I just got a mondo frog. <laughs> wow. That's a big one. Oh jeez. That guy's got some grabbers, man. <laughs> wow. Wow. You wanna feel the power? Get you one of those. That'd be perfect with the bullfrog, right? I know it would. How about that guys? Wow. We're gonna let it, let old Bullski go here. Uh wow. Look at him, woo! Go. God, can you imagine a 12 pounder eating that? Probably the best best thing ever seen. I didn't really expect to catch a frog, but I threw up there amongst the frogs and then that one came over there and attacked it. My GoPro died, sorry I didn't get that shot, but that was, that was something else. I mean, what a day. You got one chasing yours. 
What if you caught like a 10 pounder out of one of these lakes? What's what's the excitement level on that? You call the DNR. You got a record? Oh! Got him! Yeah. Oh my gosh, deep in there. Look at me pulling him out with the AP rod. Just scorched him. Wow, dude, that was cool. Nice, nice, nice. Beautiful. Awesome. Woo-wee! You gotta have yourself a little a little backbone and some some real power and some braid. I think they just follow it like they look at the silhouette. Yeah. They just, yeah, they're just like waiting. into the Mars canyons there. We're in the solar system. Oh, yeah, he sucked it under. Oh, wow, it's, that's on a tree. Oh, no. Can I go in there? Oh! <laughs> oh, I just got a horse. I got a horse and, come on, get up. AP, hey, I'm just, I'm putting the hammer down. If I break your rod, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna break it. I got him. I got him, I went so far in. Oh, gosh. oh and I slung him over the, the tree. That was incredible. What a catch. I didn't even know I had that fish. I know, that was crazy. It was just pulling. I've gotten into some pad crashing, y'all. This is a bad time to have to leave. Don't wanna to have to. I just pulled that fish over that tree. Where is it? Right there. That was awesome. That was a true dangle. There's so many pads, you just can't get back to all of them. We're out of time. This is this is fishermen nah, doing what we do, just and we're just we're just going one. Let's make another <laughs> cast. Actually, you know what? Let's just change our flight. Let's stay up here till the season's over. Oh, he's not even hooked. Yeah, he's, he's not just even hooked. He's just, oh, there he goes. Oh. <laughs> Look at the leaps on that guy, man. That is incredible. I might honestly, I'd love that type of dog. Oh. I've enjoyed hanging out with you. Thank you for revealing. Where all the fish are for us. <laughs> Little traveling friend, co-captain uh, Kermit, Captain Kermit, on board directing us where the frogfish are. I don't think he's chilling. Gosh, should we take this guy home to the freaking Gary's tank? Oh, he's he's looking now. He's getting ready to rumble. He's like, I'm drying out, boys. Been good hanging with you, bud. I'll give him a little water. A little splish. Oh, oh, wait. oh look at him. He just landed right on the back. Perfect. See you, buddy. I feel like this we went day was like three days worth of trip. You guys have been going for like 48 hours because you guys got up at 4.30. We had meetings all day. Fished this morning all day. And it's just been all over the place, but. Did you guys enjoy the trip? Dude, Dude it was a blast. Amazing. I want to thank AP for taking us out because we came up here for business stuff and then we we're like, yeah, we might get a little fish in. Then we got a lot of fish in it and it was really good. We got on them quick and I love the fact that there's just a bunch of lakes up here that you can hop around to and you got to figure out each one. It's a new little hole. AP is going to be down below. He's an adventurer. He's a soaring eagle on YouTube right now. He likes to soar with the eagles out in the woods. He's got some fun stuff going on, so you guys can go check him out. But I have to get back to Texas. I got OSG, we got wood building going on. It's time to get back, y'all.